People who took the AstraZeneca vaccine from March 10th to March 19th will soon be able to book their second dose and become fully vaccinated. Ontario is moving forward with second dose administration of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine. The second dose is normally prescribed at or after 12 weeks from the first dose. Those who got the shot on March 10th would be getting their shot two weeks early. It's a move doctors say will prevent any wasted doses. About 45,000 doses are set to expire May 31st, another 10,000 sometime in June. Health officials say patients should contact the same pharmacy or doctor that administered their initial shot. Pharmacist Phil Hauser didn't offer AstraZeneca until later on. He isn't sure when he'll get restocked with doses. So I look at my patients, the ones that we administered the end of March and early April. We're still looking at, uh, I believe it's an August uh, kind of date. So in two months, you know as well as I do how much the information is changing from a day-to-day -day basis. The province tells CHCH that getting fully vaccinated earlier offers 69% protection, wait two weeks, and protections jump to 80%. Nonetheless, Dr. Dirk Heyer says the vaccine is safe. This is a very good vaccine that has provided tremendous uh, uh, impact in the UK and other countries. Ron says he can't wait to get his second shot of AstraZeneca. Uh, I believe that, you know, you just need to get it and uh, so that we can move on and get back to a normal way of doing things. Since I've already had the first AstraZeneca, I just don't really feel like I should be mixing them. I'd rather just get that one if I could. Ontario currently has over 300,000 doses of the vaccine in stock. However, about 1 million Ontarians got AstraZeneca. So Hauser believes mixing brands is bound to happen. There's a pretty good uh, bet to say that there is going to be some mixing that goes on just based on the supply in the next few months. Health authorities and pharmacists Phil Hauser both indicate that adverse reactions seem to occur far less with the second shot of AstraZeneca than the first, which is still very rare.